dreaming, I'm still breathing Staring at my thoughts, filling up to the ceiling I'm swimming in What's up, Royalty Crew? I'm back with another video, and in today's video, um I'm going to be basically doing my coming out story. If if y'all don't know, um, I'm gay. I like boys. Um, period. Period. <laughs> period. So, let me just get on right into, you know, this story time. So, I came out in the end of November, coming towards December of 2017. So, like, I say, I, I've been out for, like, a year now to my, like, my mama and my family. And the reason why I came out to my mama was because, um, one day after school, I was rehearsing for, um, this thing that we was doing at school in middle school, my eighth grade or grade year, and one of my old dance teachers, she had came up to me and was like, "Hey, Eddie, like I like like I have to talk to you." And at that moment, she like basically was 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 like, "I know about you and like this and that," and had me told your mama. And I was like, no, I'm going to tell her eventually. And like, so it was one day after school. My mama had picked me up. And I was in the car like, oh my gosh, today is going to be the day I'm about to tell my mama. So usually after she picked me up, we would go and get my little brother. So while we was getting my little brother, um, I was in the car like procrastinating, like, oh my god, oh my god, like like I was scared, bro. Like I didn't know what to do. I was like, what the hell? Like I was just like what the real. So, um we right down the street from my house and like I'm like, oh my god. So I finally tell her, I said, Mama, when we get home, I have to talk to you. And she was like, about what? I was just like, I just have to talk to you when we get home. Mind you, we like right down and down the street from the house. Like, oh, my heart was beating out my chest. Like, I was scared to tell my mama. Like, I ain't know, I didn't know how she was going to react, what she was going to do. Like, I was just scared. So, we pulling up. I'm like, Lord have mercy. Like, I was like, like, my hands was shaking, like, my body was shaking, and I was just like, oh, my God. Like, but I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go tell her. So, I, basically, we came in the house, you know, I went in my room, put my book stick down, you know, took, took my school clothes off, got comfortable, and went in my mama room. And she was like, son, what do you have to talk to me about? And, like, I'm in my head, you know, planning and thinking about what I'm about to say to my mama, like, because, like, I don't know what I'm about to say, because, like, I don't want to say the wrong thing, and then it goes soft. So then, the first thing I asked her was, I was like, mama, how do you feel about gay, gay people and bi people? And she was like, she don't have nothing against them, they do what they want, and, like, yeah, she don't have no problem with it. So, I was like, mama, I have some, something to tell you tell you and I figured like she knew what I was about to tell her cause like the look in her face was like are you about to tell me that you gay so like I'm sitting on the bed I tell her I said mama I'm gay like I just came out straight like that mama I'm gay and of course you know she was really so much surprised but you know she was in shock like wow and I was like yeah she was like, you gay? And I was like, yeah, I like boys. And she was like, oh, wow. So then, like, she gave me a little speech. 
about gay people, this and that. And I don't know why, but then the Bible had came into it. And, like, I knew that, like, she was okay with it. She didn't really, like, care. But, like, when she had brought the Bible into it and told me some things from the Bible, I ain't gonna lie. I was honestly a little hurt. Like, I was a little scared because, like, of course, like, in the Bible, you know, it's not good. It's not good to be gay. Like, like. It's not. So, like, then she told me about this story about how they had burnt down, like, a city of gays or something in the Bible. And, like, I was just terrified and scared. But I was, like, I started crying. And, like, I never cried so much in my life. And, like, she she told me that after, after all that while I was crying today, she going to love me regardless. I'm her child, and, like, I am who I am at the end of the day. And, I mean, I wasn't really mad. I was more so, let, let me, I was more so a little glad, you know, because she, she didn't take it as well as I thought she would, you know, bringing in the whole Bible thing, but, like, she didn't go off with me. Like, so, y'all, I'm trying my hardest not to cry because, like, this is one, of, this is one of the most emotional days of my life. And like to anybody that's struggling to come out, all I have to say is, don't rush to tell your parents you know your sexuality because, like. It's not a rush. When, when, Whenever you're ready to tell them, tell them. Don't let nobody rush you in to tell your parents that, oh, I'm gay, I'm bi, I'm lesbian, I want to be trans. Like, don't ever rush it. Like, when you want to, just do it. And recently... Like, a month or two ago, I just came out to my dad. So, we were at my little brother's um, middle school basketball game. And I was with, with, with my dad. And, you know, I'm dressing feminine. You know, my voice is not as deep. And I haven't seen my dad in, like, a little while. So, he finally popped off the question. He said, EJ, are you attracted to girls or boys? You know me. I giggled. <laughs> And I was like, Daddy, honestly, I'm attracted to, to boys. And he was like, Son, I'm going to love you regardless of who you of, of who you are. Because at the end of the day, you, you are my child. And I have nothing against you. You are the way you are. And I was pretty happy, you know. Because, cause like... My father took it very well. Because, you know, most dads, especially with, like, their sons, they don't take stuff like that very well. And for my dad to take that so well, that meant a lot to me. Because that really means that, like, he really cares and loves me, like, regardless of what I am. So, like, I really appreciate my dad for that, and I really love him because, like, I can tell. That took a lot for him to really say that. Like, because like, like I said, you don't get that from most fathers. And back to like me giving tips. Like I said, don't rush it. Whenever you're ready to come out, just come out. Don't let anybody try to rush you to do nothing. Because at the end of the day, you have to make sure you're, you're, you know, like you're good before you know do anything else. You have to make sure that you're okay with it before you do it. Because at the end of the day, like if you're not cool with yourself, if you're not cool with doing this, don't do it. Point blank, period. And to all my home, home, homophobic people. 
I'm going to do me regardless. I am who I am at the end of the day. I'm different. So what? I love myself. I love who I am. And nothing about that is going to change. I'm gay and I'm proud. And then all the things saying, oh, you gays are going to hell this and that. Well, in the Bible, it says not to judge. So everybody that's been, ju that's been judging me, you have so much of a bigger sin than me. And I go to church. I love, I love the Lord. I ask him to forgive me for my sins. So all I, so before I start to start, start crying in, all I have to say is for any people that's still in the closet or trying to come out to their parents, don't rush it. Take your time. Because at the end of the day, it's you. Not nobody else, it's you. If you're not okay with it, don't do it. Okay, so, this is this is the end of this video of me sharing my coming out story of both my mother and my father. And, you know, me giving, you know, a, a little tip for people that's trying to come out, you know. And, like I said, you. It's all up to you. Thank y'all for watching this video. Please like, comment. And subscribe follow all my social media down below and also um follow um my sis one of my close friends Zaria Michaela TV she was the one that actually that actually inspired me to do this coming out story so yeah and as I always say bye Corey.